Welcome back to the Tradesman Channel. Today we are continuing on our metal lathe restoration. It's going quite well so far. We're still on the headstock, so stay tuned. I'll catch you on the other side of it.
Well, so far the paint job's holding up well. It's coming along nicely. Uh, this is a slow and tedious process for me because I'm, I'm feeling my way through it as I go, but I'm really happy with the progress so far. So coming up, we're going to be getting into the rest of the headstock. Hopefully we can get that done fairly quickly. Got a lot of cleanup to do on the, uh, the drive of it, the chuck, all that good stuff. We've got to clean all that up really well. Kind of give it the same treatment that the rest of it has. But like I said, everything's coming along nicely. And a couple frustrating moments trying to screw around with that spring. So I think what I'll have to do is find the proper spring for it and move along from there. It's not a deal breaker, game changer. That lever, it's, it's holding in fine. It's a lot better than what it was. Somebody kind of had a couple springs rigged on the external side of that lever. But it, boy, it looks nice polished up. I, I see brass handles and things like that painted this pukey lime green. It's like, wow. But on the other hand, that paint did protect all these parts for a long time. That and the layers of oil all through for who knows how long. We don't really know when the last time this machine was broken down like this, taken apart. Now I do see signs that some work has been done on it, but that's more, I'm seeing uh, places where there should be tapered pins or actually set screws. And it looks like some of this stuff has definitely been remachined. I think that whole drive system for the, uh, for the apron and the cross slide looks like that's all been redone in there. Uh, looking, because the gears, so I was wondering what the, the numbers stamped and all the parts were, and most of them are stamped to 97. I'm assuming that shows you that you have a matching set and everything's original on the machine. Well, there's a couple ones, they're not quite original, but um, for all of that, whoever did the work on it, they did a fabulous job. It's really tight, it's really nice. We'll live with it. I think it's going to be really nice to use. So anyway. Hope you enjoyed this one everybody and on the next one hopefully we're going to be pretty well wrapping up with the headstock and then we can move on to the rest of the lathe itself which is going to be it's going to be tedious because this part it's not very hard but the next part's going to be a lot of fun so i'll see you on the next one